Just kill a level 20 monster like this. Wu Liang stared at Lin Fei's back in the picture, frozen and motionless. Level 20 monsters are, of course, a piece of cake for me. But for new professionals who have just changed careers, it's an insurmountable mountain. Even if Lin Fei is powerful and has level 20 strength, it would still take half an hour or more to kill a level 20 monster, right? After all, killing monsters across levels only exists at low levels. When you reach a high level, let alone transcending levels, even killing monsters of the same level becomes challenging. But Lin Fei didn't follow the usual routine. It took him only a few minutes to defeat this level 20 monster. It was incredible. His strength is definitely beyond level 20. He must have reached level 21. Otherwise, it would be impossible to defeat a level 20 monster so easily. Wu Liang's eyes widened. He didn't expect Lin Fei to be stronger than they anticipated. Qin Wan Yu next to him was also shocked. Lin Fei had the strength to kill level 20 monsters just 10 days after changing jobs and reached the top of the 33rd layer world. It's unimaginable how far he can grow in the future. Level 60? Level 70? Or level 80? Qin Wan Yu became more determined to befriend Lin Fei. He even wondered if he should act quickly to avoid being overtaken by others. Among the three, Shi He was the most excited. Seeing Lin Fei achieve something even that adult hadn't done, killing a level 20 monster, he was eager to find the second level 20 monster. He was absolutely certain. Staying on the 33rd floor for an hour was no problem for Lin Fei. He witnessed history. The third professional in the history of Dragon Kingdom to ascend to the highest level of 33rd layer was born right before his eyes. After standing there blankly for a while, Chi He finally recovered from the shock and became anxious. This news must be sent back to the school as soon as possible, so they can send someone over quickly. Otherwise, once the college entrance examination is over and the results are out, it will be too late. He knew what it meant for a professional to reach the highest level of 33rd layer. If he could be recruited into the school, it would become the number one university in Dragon Kingdom. Therefore, after other universities learned the news, they would send people to recruit Lin Fei at all costs. He had to pass the news to the school before them. Chi He was secretly anxious and quickly took out a talisman from the backpack space. This was a messenger that could transmit information to the recipient at extremely fast speeds. It was a very high level and very rare. Chi He, a level 50 expert, had only one. But as long as the school could learn about Lin Fei in advance, it was worth it. Chi He didn't hesitate and quickly entered the information related to Lin Fei into the communication talisman. He then input mana into it to activate the communication talisman. The communication talisman, inspired by Chi He's mana, immediately glowed with golden light until the entire talisman was covered in golden light. Chi He threw it lightly, and the communication talisman turned into a stream of light and flew north at an extremely fast speed. The communication talisman is extremely fast. It will reach Longjing and fall into the principal's hands in about an hour. I hope the principal sends a few more people after receiving the summons, otherwise I won't be able to stop the people sent from other universities. Chi He felt relieved as he watched the golden stream of light gradually disappear from his field of vision. In fact, it would be faster to go to the guild and contact the school using a communication device. But then confidentiality would be poor, he was most worried about others finding out. That's why he used the communication talisman with strong confidentiality and decent speed. The school will receive the news soon and send someone over, but before they arrive, I must keep this place confidential. Chi He pondered, then turned to Wu Liang and Chi Wan Yu, and said, You too, the college entrance examination ends in six hours. Until then, let's wait here together. His tone was vaguely commanding. Wu Liang and Qin Wan Yu knew what Chi He meant after seeing what he had just done. He wanted to keep an eye on them to prevent them from sharing Lin Fei's information with other universities. Wu Liang and Qin Wan Yu looked at each other and nodded. The inspector reassures you, sir. We won't leave before the college entrance examination is over, and we won't contact anyone outside. Chi He is a level 50 expert, so they naturally had to respect him. Chi He smiled, with a hint of apology in his tone. Sorry to trouble you too. After the college entrance examination, I will personally host you. With a little effort, the inspector is too polite. 
Wu Liang responded with a smile, also considering whether to go to Riverside City after the college entrance examination. After all, when Lin Fei grows up, he will become a big shot even he can't reach. Getting close to him now has only advantages and no disadvantages. Well, after the college entrance examination, I'll go to Riverside City with the inspector. Wu Liang made up his mind and looked up at Jin Mu again. With a wave of his hand, Shi Yi erased Lin Fei's picture from the golden screen, preventing them from watching further. Then, the figures of Qin Hao and others appeared on the golden screen. They had entered the 30th floor and were working together to hunt down a level 19 monster. So strong, level 19 monsters are so strong, my own level 18 strength, coupled with Xiao Yi and Lu Zi's skeleton warriors, made the battle so difficult. Qin Hao gritted his teeth while fighting the level 19 monster Naked Snake. They had been fighting this naked snake for nearly half an hour and still hadn't taken it down, this was unprecedented. The naked snake is 5 meters long, has a huge body, and is extremely flexible. Dozens of skeleton warriors attacked it, but couldn't stop it, occasionally, it even smashed a few to pieces with its tail. Lu Zi watched helplessly as seven or eight skeleton warriors were shattered by the naked snake, along with their equipment. He was so heartbroken that he almost vomited blood. He couldn't help but say to Qin Hao, Young Master Qin, let's retreat first and think of another approach. Level 19 monsters are too powerful. If we fight head on, the losses will be too heavy. He watched helplessly as one skeleton warrior after another was destroyed by the naked snake. Lu Zi was so heartbroken that he almost vomited blood. Especially since he was only level 13, he couldn't help even if he wanted to, which made him feel powerless and couldn't help but give up. After hearing what he said, Xin Hao hesitated for a moment. He then looked up at the naked snake that was moving freely in the circle of skeleton warriors. He finally gritted his teeth and said, We can't retreat. Most of its physical strength has been consumed by us. Now is a good time to kill it in one go. We must not retreat. Give up halfway. This opportunity cannot be missed. Time will never come again. No matter what the cost, we must kill it this time. Otherwise, we will not truly reach the 30th floor. Qin Hao's eyes were extremely firm when he finished speaking, but Lu Zi beside him collapsed when he heard this. Seeing Lu Zi losing his fighting spirit, Qin Hao resisted the urge to scold him and comforted him. Don't worry, there are very few level 19 monsters on the 30th floor. We only need to deal with such a level 19 monster. After killing this level 19 naked snake, we will hunt specifically for level 16, 17, and level 18 monsters, and we will no longer provoke level 19 monsters. After saying that, Qin Hao took the black dragon Xiao Yi and continued to rush towards the naked snake. Lu Zi stood behind with his head drooped, looking helpless. Qin Hao has said this, what else can he do? He had no choice but to command the skeleton warriors to fight the naked snake while minimizing losses. The battle continued for another half hour. With a grapple from Black Dragon Xiao Yi, he caught the naked snake covered in bruises in midair and tore it in half. The battle finally came to an end. The moment Qin Hao received the experience increase prompt, he could no longer control himself and sat down on the ground, breathing heavily. This fight really wore him out. I didn't expect level 19 monsters to be so difficult to deal with. I made so many preparations before the college entrance examination, and even armed Lu Zi to help me fight, but in the end it still took a lot of effort to kill a level 19 monster. It seems that level 18 is his limit, and he must not provoke level 19 monsters anymore. While Qin Hao was breathing heavily, he made up his mind not to provoke level 19 monsters again. Then I thought about how successfully I climbed to the 30th floor, and I couldn't help but laugh out loud. I have already killed a level 19 monster, it will definitely be no problem if I stay on level 30 for another hour. I will definitely get the 4000 level points on the 30th level. Coupled with my points for killing monsters, my final score will definitely exceed the college entrance examination points record. Even if Zhao Meng and Chen Jialong can reach the 30th floor, their total points will never exceed mine. The top candidate in the college entrance examination this time must be me. It's true that I spent so much thought and planning for so long, and today I finally achieved my goal. At the end of the story, Xin Hao couldn't help laughing, all the pressure on his body disappeared, 
and he felt indescribably relaxed. Lu Zi next to him also smiled, but his smile was a little forced. In order to kill this level 19 naked snake, he lost half of his skeleton warrior, and the remaining half was also scarred, which can be said to be a heavy loss. Now, his strength has been weakened by more than half. As for the monsters on the 30th floor, the lowest level is level 16. It has become impossible for him to continue hunting monsters and gain points. If the monster killing points in the teleportation token hadn't reached more than 3000 points, he might have burst into tears. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. With more than 3000 monster killing points, plus 4000 level points, my total points will reach more than 7000 points. I am guaranteed to be in the top 10. Even if I can no longer hunt monsters, it doesn't matter. Lu Zi comforted himself in his heart. Then he summoned a few skeleton warriors again and asked them to search the battlefield to see if there was any unbroken equipment. Chin Hao sat on the ground and rested for more than 10 minutes. After feeling that he had regained some strength, he got up from the ground with stiff movements. Looking at the naked snake body that gradually faded away, Chin Hao was stunned for a moment. A level 19 monster is so powerful. No wonder Donghai province has the highest record in the college entrance examination, which is reaching the 30th level. I heard that in several other provinces, there are people who can climb to the 31st and 32nd floors. I really can't imagine how they did it. If he encountered so many powerful level 19 monsters, he would definitely run away and not be able to stay for even a minute. As for the 33rd floor, Shin Hao still feels that the people who created 33rd layer secret realm back then were just filled with paste. Level 20 monsters, can new professionals deal with them? In the entire history of the Dragon Kingdom, there have only been two people who have been able to reach the top of the 33rd floor, and it is almost impossible for a third person to appear. This level that is impossible to climb can only be looked at as a decoration. I really don't know what to do with it. Chin Hao shook his head and asked Lu Zi to continue searching on the 30th floor. Although the top scorer in the college entrance examination has been obtained, it is better to get more points to get more points. At the same time, Longjing, Longguo Vocational University, a golden stream of light quickly passed over the school, and finally flew in front of the principal Chong Chindong. Messaging talisman? Chong Chindong let out a sigh stretched out his hand to grab the golden light group, and sensed it into it. News from Chihei. He didn't go to the guild and use the communication device to contact me, so why did he use the communication talisman? Huh? What about the college entrance examination in Donghai province? There is a candidate named Lin Fei who has entered the highest level of 33rd layer and successfully killed a level 20 monster. It only took time. What? Chong Chindong stood up suddenly, with horror on his face, and the sound of a chair falling to the ground was heard behind him. There is actually a candidate who has reached the highest level of 33rd layer. Chong Chindong couldn't believe it was true. He read it three times before finally confirming that he had read it correctly. This year's Donghai Provincial College Entrance Examination, candidate Lin Fei successfully climbed to the top of 33rd layer. After Chihei learned about this matter, he immediately sent back the news using a more confidential messenger, asking me to send someone to Donghai province as soon as possible to prevent Lin Fei from being snatched away by other schools. There are still five hours before the college entrance examination ends. I must send someone out as soon as possible. Principal Chong Chindong paced back and forth in his office, thinking about the candidates to send to Donghai province. But after thinking about it, no matter who he sent, he felt that it was not safe. Use your own knowledge of other university presidents. After they learned of Lin Fei's existence, they would definitely go to Donghai province to rob people, regardless of their face. If we just send a few vice principals and teachers to Donghai province, I'm afraid they won't be able to defeat those thick-skinned and tough-faced old guys. It seems that it is safest if I go to Donghai province in person. Chong Chindong made up his mind put down everything at hand and go to Donghai province first to snatch Lin Fei over. He no longer hesitated. First, he took out a communication talisman from the backpack space and told Chi He to keep an eye on Lin Fei, he would be there soon. Then he ignored those broken rules and took off directly from the spot, heading towards Donghai province at full speed. Who is flying above? This is Longjing, how bold. That person. Dot why does he look like the principal? 
Principal? How is that possible? Although the principal has the right to fly over Longjing, I have never seen him do this since I entered the school. It's really the principal, look, the principal flew south. Did something happen in the south? The principal was never so anxious when he went to meet the leader. Could it be that the abyss is calling? Otherwise, why would the principal be so anxious? It's not like. There was never any riot in abyss during the college entrance examination. The reason why we chose this time for the job transfer ceremony and the college entrance examination is because the abyss is the calmest at this time. Then what happened? I don't know either. Just wait and see. If something big happens, news will come soon. The students of Longguo Vocational University noticed that the principal suddenly took off and left in a hurry, as if there was something urgent. They all stood there and talked about it. Many teachers also looked at the principal's leaving figure with puzzled faces. I haven't heard anything big happened. If something big happens, the principal should notify them as soon as possible. But now, the principal left without leaving a word. It's really hard to figure out what happened that made the principal so anxious that he didn't even have the time to leave a message. Several teachers looked at each other and shook their heads, unable to understand what was going on. Then I stopped thinking about it and everyone went about their business. If something big happens that they don't deserve to know about, there's no point in thinking about it. They'll just have to wait and face it when the time comes. The screen returns to 33rd layer day in Donghai province. Lin Fei spent 4 hours hunting 7 level 20 monsters and 10 level 19 monsters, and once again obtained 4100 points. At this moment, he was following the memory in the monster's soul fragment and rushing to the next place where the monster appeared. This is it. Lin Fei came to a place where many small floating lands were floating in the space. According to the memory in the monster's soul fragment, there is a level 20 ghost butterfly here. Let's look for it, I guess it's still sleeping. Lin Fei looked around and saw one small floating land after another floating in the space. After searching for a while, no trace of the ghost butterfly was found. But he was also very patient and not in a hurry. The experience of hunting monsters in the past four hours told him that the monsters on the 33rd floor are very good at hiding, so he has not found any trace of the ghost butterfly for the time being, which does not mean that it is not here. After searching for a few more minutes, Lin Fei realized that he would not be able to find the ghost butterfly so easily, so he waved his hand to the ghost of the undead and said, Go and search. The undead ghost immediately stepped forward after receiving the order, and wisps of ghost fire appeared around its body. The ghost fire is generated, and the ghosts of the undead begin to act. The swaying ghost fire is like a flying star, constantly circling with it as the center of the circle, testing the place where the ghost butterfly may exist. Not long after, a few wisps of ghost fire flew under a small floating land, awakening the sleeping ghost butterfly. Found it? Lin Fei's eyes narrowed in the distance, and then a faint smile appeared on his lips. Now that I have found you, the next step will be easy. As soon as he finished speaking, the ghosts of the undead in the distance began to fight with the ghost butterflies. Level 20 monsters are indeed very powerful. Normally, new career changers will turn around and run away when encountering them. But Lin Fei's undead ghost strength has reached level 21 and is fully capable of fighting. Based on previous experience, this level 20 monster will briefly resist the undead ghost before being killed by it. Lin Fei stood on the floating land and watched the battle from a distance. The undead ghosts and ghost butterflies exchanged hundreds of moves in the dim space, and several small floating lands were destroyed by the aftermath of their battle. The battle lasted for more than 10 minutes. In the end, the ghost butterfly was severely injured by the undead ghost's sword, and when it wanted to escape, countless ghost fires surrounded it and burned it to ashes. Kill level 20 ghost butterfly, experience plus 1660. Lin Fei received the experience increase prompt and looked at the experience column of the attribute panel. I saw the number in the experience column increased to 100% again. Promoted to level 17, Lin Fei looked at the refreshed attribute panel with a smile on his face. Name Lin Fei, Occupation, Undead Lord, Only, Level 17. 0.11% life 1530 plus 300 strength 1580 agility 1490 plus 300 mana 
1650 1500 plus 150 equipment psychic bracelet jinming stone necklace nebula mysterious shoes backpack space 389 700s army undead ghost as the level increases more arms can be unlocked skills soul tentacles normal shield teleportation bone spurs summoning undead ghosts talent infinite synthesis although there are no new skills awakened in this promotion however the four dimensional attributes have been increased to more than 1500 points and the power of various skills has also been greatly enhanced soul tentacle lin fei used a skill and a tentacle flew out from his body and landed on the corpse of the ghost butterfly in the distance the tentacles grabbed a soul fragment from the ghost butterfly and flew back into Lin Fei's body. Lin Fei was secretly excited while enjoying the improvement of his soul power. As expected, after I advanced, my soul tentacles also improved. The soul fragments captured this time are obviously much larger than before, and the improvement they bring is much higher than before. The soul power enhancement process lasted for nearly 10 seconds. Lin Fei smiled with great satisfaction and thought in his heart. There are still three hours until the college entrance examination ends. I must seize this last moment, hunt monsters with all my strength, and gain points. Based on the previous speed, I should be able to increase my monster killing points to over 30,000 points before the college entrance examination is over. Lin Fei's eyes were sharp and he continued to move towards the next location with the ghost of the dead. Three hours flew by. The college entrance examination for professionals is also coming to an end. A solemn voice echoed throughout the 33rd layer sky. The college entrance examination is over, and all candidates will be teleported back to the entrance. The college entrance examination score list will appear at the entrance in three minutes. It's time for the college entrance examination. Lin Fei slowly stopped after hearing two voices echoing around him. He stood on a small floating land, waiting to be teleported back. The points for killing monsters in the teleportation token have accumulated to 32,780 points. Added in the 10,000 level points of the 33rd level, my total points will reach 42,780 points. With this score, I will definitely be able to win the top spot in the college entrance examination, and I can complete the system's achievement tasks. And I also successfully climbed to the top of the 33rd layer sky, and I can get extra mission points as rewards. Now, just wait for the system to confirm that the task is completed, and then issue the task reward. A smile appeared on Lin Fei's face. When he thought that 80 mission points would arrive soon, he felt that his efforts in the past few days were not in vain. After you get the mission points, spend 5 mission points to exchange for new undead troops. I remember that there is a unit called the Undead Ice Dragon, which is both undead and dragon. I will redeem it when the time comes. I can just use the dragon power scroll on it to add a talent ability to it. Well, it's best to upgrade the undead ice dragon to the white silver level, so that I have two white silver level undead units, which can at least double the strength. As for the remaining mission points, we will see what else can be exchanged for them when the time comes. Lin Fei briefly thought about the arrangements after obtaining the mission points, and couldn't help but sigh. There are too many good things in the system mall and 80 mission points are completely not enough. We can only wait until we complete more tasks in the future, obtain more task points, and then slowly redeem them. Lin Fei had a sigh on his face, and when he raised his head, he suddenly discovered that in the void, a red light ball was slowly flying towards him. What's this? Lin Fei cautiously looked at the red ball of light in front of him, but did not dare to catch it, for fear that it was some kind of trap. Then he saw the red light on the light group gradually dimming, revealing what was inside, which turned out to be a talisman. The message came from the talisman and entered Lin Fei's mind. Star Guardian Talisman? The reward for reaching the highest level of 33rd layer? What is the specific function? Huh? It turns out to be a yellow gold level talisman, which integrates offense and defense. After using it, countless stars will form a mask to protect the user. Even a level 50 professional can't break through the defense within an hour. Also, while defending, it can also launch an attack. Those below level 50 will be killed, and those above level 50 will be seriously injured. What a good thing. Lin Fei's eyes suddenly lit up after reading the introduction. 
Unexpectedly, after reaching the highest level of 33rd layer, I would have the unexpected joy of getting such a powerful yellow gold level talisman. He didn't need to think about it to know how precious this kind of talisman that reached the yellow gold level and had both offense and defense was. Even the governor of Donghai province might not be able to produce it. After all, I heard that the governor of Donghai province does not even have level 50. Having this amulet is equivalent to having an extra life. Even if you are targeted by a level 50 professional, you don't have to be afraid. More importantly, according to the information in my mind, 33rd layer is a man-made secret realm, and the Star Guardian Talisman is also artificially placed in it to protect professionals who ascend to the highest level of 33rd layer. Therefore, if you climb up to the 33rd layer, you will get a Star Guardian Talisman. Very few people know this. You can completely use the Star Guardian Talisman as your trump card. Lin Fei happily grabbed the Star Guardian Talisman in his hand and put it into his backpack. Immediately afterwards, the teleportation token on his waist gradually lit up with blue light. In just a few seconds, his entire body was enveloped in light. Then he felt an inexplicable force acting on himself, leading him to start moving. Outside, Riverside City Teleport Plaza. The college entrance examination is over and all candidates will be teleported back to the entrance. The college entrance examination score list will appear at the entrance in three minutes. A solemn voice came from the entrance. People in the teleportation square suddenly became restless, looking towards the teleportation channel, waiting for the candidates to be teleported out. They have different expressions, including anticipation, nervousness, and calmness. The final results of the candidates will be announced soon. Whether they succeed or fail is at this moment. At the VIP seats in the square, Chen Han looked at the teleportation entrance where the light was getting stronger and stronger and he felt more and more nervous. Even the arm holding the teacup was trembling slightly. He has been busy these days, trying to improve his daughter's strength as much as possible, and even went so far as to help her team up with Lin Fei to take the college entrance examination, just so that she could be admitted to Longguo Vocational University. Now the final success or failure will be revealed in three minutes, of course, he is extremely nervous. I hope Lin Fei can climb to the 26th floor, so that Zihan can enter Longguo Vocational University as long as he gets 1500 points for killing monsters. With 1500 points for killing monsters, it shouldn't be too difficult for Zihan. Lin Fei must not only climb to the 25th floor, otherwise Zihan will have to obtain 2000 monster killing points before she can enter Longguo Vocational University. This will be too difficult for her. While Chen Han drank tea, he prayed in his heart that Lin Fei would definitely climb to the 26th floor. The nervousness made him restless and he couldn't even drink tea smoothly. The principal of the number 2 middle school next to him, Jinda, was much calmer than him. Lin Fei showed level 15 strength before the college entrance examination, and there was absolutely no problem in getting admitted to Longguo Vocational University. Xu Wei, Liang Jia and Lin Fei form a team together. Although there is no hope of entering Longguo Vocational University, there is still no problem in entering the top 500 and entering the top 10 prestigious schools in Longguo. This year's first place is bound to fall into the hands of the second middle school again. Jin De is now filled with pride and pride. Turning around to look at Principal Wang of number one middle school next to him, Jin De became more at ease when he found that he was still there and didn't know what he was thinking. It looks like he's given up completely. Jin De secretly guessed in his heart. That's right. Lu Zi, who was originally the most promising, was only promoted to level 9 before the college entrance examination. He was not even as good as Xu Wei. Anyone else would be disappointed. Thinking of this, Jin De couldn't help but pity Principal Wang. But he didn't know that the reason why Principal Wang looked absent minded was not because he was too pessimistic, but because he was too confident. Lu Zi and Master Qin form a team to take the college entrance examination, and their results will definitely be among the top 10 in the college entrance examination. This year's number one among colleges and universities will definitely be number one middle school. He felt that staying here was a waste of time. Now that we know the result, what else is there to wait for? If he hadn't wanted to see Principal Jin's deflated look after the standings came out, he would have gone home long ago. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's wait and see the good show next. When the standings come out, I will definitely give you a big surprise. 
I'm looking forward to the expression on your face when you see Lu Zi entering the top 10 in the college entrance examination. It ranks among the top 10 in the college entrance examination. Riverside City has never had such good results in its history. He has become the first person in the history of Riverside City's college entrance examination and is destined to go down in history. Haha, ha, I have already sent people to build Lu Zi's statue. As soon as the results come out, the statue will be erected at the gate of number one middle school. Principal Wong felt extremely happy and raised his head to look at the transmission channel. I saw that the light emitted by the transmission channel was already extremely dazzling. The next second later, countless streams of light flew out of the teleportation channel and landed in the teleportation square. Immediately afterwards, everyone in the square burst into exclamations. They're coming out. They're coming out. Ding. The host has completed the achievement task, the top scorer in the college entrance examination, and will be rewarded with 30 task points. Ding, the host ascends to the highest level of 33rd layer, and will be awarded an additional 50 mission points. The host please go to the mission hall to confirm the receipt. As soon as he returned to the teleportation square, Lin Fei heard the system's mechanical beep in his ears. The scoreboard has not yet been announced but the system actually notifies that the task is completed? I guess the results of the college entrance examination have come out. I got the top score in the college entrance examination, so the system will directly notify me that the task is completed. Lin Fei wanted to understand the cause and effect, so he directly opened the system panel to receive the task reward, and then continued to check the system mall. He already knows where he is, so there is no need to care about the standings. The most important thing right now is to exchange items in the system mall. Lin Fei focused all his attention on the system mall. But Xu Wei on the side, after being stunned for a moment, looked at him excitedly and said, Brother Fei, we are really lucky this time. I don't know why, but all the monsters on the 22nd floor suddenly gathered at the entrance of the next floor. Liang Jia, Xu Jing and I, as well as some other people on the 22nd floor, although we can't enter the next floor because of this we can hunt monsters together and the efficiency is actually higher than before. In the past two days, the points of the three of us have increased to more than 1,300 points. It will definitely be no problem to enter the top 500 and enter the top 10 universities in Longguo. Xu Wei stood there, dancing excitedly. They had never wanted to enter the next level. All the monsters gathered together and everyone hunted them together. It was extremely beneficial to them. Originally, with their level 11 strength, it would be great to get 1000 points. Now, because the monsters suddenly gathered together, the points for killing monsters increased by 30%, which was simply an unexpected surprise. Lin Fei's attention was focused on the system panel, and he didn't care about Xu Hui's words at all. He just said perfunctorily, Well, well, very good, very good, not bad, not bad. Then ignore him. Xu Wei'an didn't care about Lin Fei's attitude and continued to ask with longing. Brother Fei, which level of the 33rd layer are you on? The 25th floor, Brother Fei, you must have climbed up, right? Our 1300 monster killing points, plus the 1000 level points from the 25th level, then the total points are 2300 points. Let alone the top 500, it is possible to even be in the top 200. Fatty Shu's heart surged at the end of his speech, and all his fat began to tremble. But Lin Fei next to him didn't react at all, as if he didn't hear anything. Chen Zihan, on the other hand, instantly became a little nervous after hearing Fatty Shu's words. To enter the top 50, you need at least 3,000 points. I'm on the 23rd floor and have only accumulated 1,600 points for killing monsters. Then only if Lin Fei reaches the 26th floor and gets 1,500 level points, can I enter the top 50. If Lin Fei only reaches the 25th floor, I won't be able to get into Longguo Vocational University at all. Thinking of this, Chen Zihan glanced at Lin Fei nervously. Finding that Lin Fei was still silent, thinking that he was acquiescing to Xu Hui's words, Chen Zihan's heart suddenly went cold. Did Lin Fei only climb to the 25th floor? After all, there is still no chance of entering the top 50. It's not Lin Fei's fault. After all, he was only at level 15 before the college entrance examination, so it's very impressive if he can reach the 25th floor. Last year, 
Lin Shui was promoted to level 16 before the college entrance examination, so he was able to reach the 26th floor. I can only blame myself. I am still too weak. I did not accumulate 2,000 monster killing points before the end of the college entrance examination, and I lost the opportunity to enter Longguo Vocational University. I can't get into Longguo Vocational University, I have nothing to do with it, I'm just sorry for my father. He tried so hard to help me, but I still let him down in the end. Shen Zihan's eye circles were red, and crystal tears began to roll in his eyes. Lin Fei next to him was unaware of this. He was looking at the system mall at the moment, feeling very conflicted in his heart. Should I redeem the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon? If I exchange it for the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon, I will only have 25 mission points left, and I can't exchange it for the random experience doubling ability. If I don't exchange for the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon, then if I just exchange it for a black iron level Necronomicon Ice Dragon, it will be of no use, and my combat power will not be doubled. It's really embarrassing. Oh, 80 mission points is still too few, otherwise I wouldn't have to worry so much. Lin Fei originally planned to redeem the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon, but when he actually wanted to redeem it, he hesitated. He also took a fancy to the black iron levels, random experience doubling, ability in the system mall. If he has this ability, he has a certain chance of gaining double experience after killing monsters. This is what Lin Fei needs now. Just redeeming it requires 70 mission points. Lin Fei didn't have enough mission points, so he could only choose between the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon and this talent. Let's exchange it for the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon. Lin Fei struggled for a while, but chose to stick to the original plan. There is only a certain probability of experience being randomly doubled, and the probability is not high. The white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon can directly double its combat power. If you think about it carefully, the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon is more important. Lin Fei reached out and clicked the redemption button behind the black iron level and white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon on the panel. Then a mechanical sound from the system came to my ears. Spent 5 mission points and redeemed black iron level Necronomicon Ice Dragon successfully. The host has the ability to summon the black iron level Necronomicon Ice Dragon. Spent 50 mission points and redeemed white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon successfully. The host has the ability to summon the white silver level Necronomicon Ice Dragon. The new unit was successfully exchanged, and a Necronomicon Ice Dragon was added to the unit column on Lin Fei's personal attributes panel. There are still 25 mission points left. The system mall also has many items with low redemption points, you can continue to look at them. Lin Fei thought so and continued to browse the system mall page. He didn't know that when he exchanged it for the undead ice dragon. In the square, the transmission channel that originally connected the 33rd layer sky has disappeared, replaced by a huge golden list. The standings are out. Xu Wei pointed to the center of the teleportation square and exclaimed, and Liang Jia and the other three people nearby turned to look over. The 2,000 candidates around them also followed their actions and stared at the college entrance examination standings with bated breath. In the entire teleportation square, Lin Fei was probably the only one who was absent-mindedly not looking up. Xu Wei and others thought that Lin Fei had already figured it out, so they didn't dare to disturb him. Chen Zihan looked at the Golden Radiant standings, calmly and calmly, and said softly. In previous years, the rankings on the college entrance examination standings were ranked from low to high. So the first ones to appear are those failed candidates who ranked around 100,000. We need to wait for a while before the top 500 will appear on the standings. Hearing this, Xu Wei and the others felt somewhat relaxed, but they still kept their eyes on the college entrance examination standings and did not dare to relax. Text began to appear on the tall and wide scoreboard. There are six items at the beginning of the line, including name, place of origin, monster killing points, group points, total points and performance ranking. What follows are the specific scores corresponding to the candidates' names. The order in which these candidates' names appear is exactly what Chen Zihan said, from low to high. The first ones to appear were those candidates who were ranked around 100,000 and failed the college entrance examination. A small group of people in the teleportation square saw their names in it. 
knowing that they were only ranked among 90,000 or 100,000 people and were not even qualified to enter university, they burst into tears uncontrollably, and some even fainted on the spot. Only if your ranking is within 80,000, you will have a chance to enter the worst university. As for those 80,000 outsiders who failed the college entrance examination and were not qualified to enter the university, they could only stay in the city and develop independently. If you don't go to college, the gap is huge, it's not surprising that this person reacted like this after learning about their results. But these people are only a minority after all. More people in the square felt relieved after seeing that their names were not among the 80,000 people. No matter where they ranked next, they would at least go to college. Then he opened his eyes wide again and stared at the names appearing on the standings without blinking, praying in his heart that his name would appear as late as possible. Over time, most of their names have appeared in the standings. Their rankings are generally between 5,000 and 80,000. They can get into college, but they can only get into ordinary universities, they have little hope in those famous schools. Only those ranked within 5,000 will have the opportunity to attend prestigious schools. Only those ranked within 500 can enter the top 10 prestigious schools in Dragon Kingdom. In the first and second middle schools, there are about a dozen students who can enter the top 5,000 every year, and there are about one or two students who can enter the top 500 every year. Principal Jin watched the rankings on the standings getting higher and higher with a faint smile on his face. The names of Xu Wei and Liang Jia have not appeared yet, it is basically guaranteed that they will enter the top 500. There are two other good students whose names have not appeared, they might also have a chance to enter the top 500. In addition, Lin Fei's ranking is 100% within the top 50. The results of number 2 middle school this year are definitely the best among all high schools. The more Principal Jin thought about it, the more excited he became, and his eyes began to shine. He is about to appear in the top 500 before he reaches the college entrance examination standings. Now he is getting more and more at ease. The city lord Chen Han sitting next to him had the exact opposite mood. Seeing the names of the top 500 candidates starting to appear on the college entrance examination score list, he became more and more nervous, and his hands were sweating, for fear that his daughter's name would appear between the 50th and 500th. God bless, God bless, we must let Zihan enter the top 50. Chen Han was so nervous that he got sick and rushed to the doctor. He began to pray for God's protection in his heart. The most relaxed person now is actually not the extremely excited Jinda. But Principal Wong of Number One Middle School, who is still there. He didn't even bother to look up at the standings, he was yawning, sitting in his chair with his eyes closed, nurturing spirit. If he is not in the top 50 in the standings, he will not open his eyes to look at the standings. He doesn't even care about the grades of students in Number One Middle School. Lu Zi is already determined to enter the top 10, so even if all the other students in Number One Middle School fail, it doesn't matter to him at all. The number one high school ranking this year is still from number one middle school. Principal Wang's indifferent attitude made Jinda feel very strange. Although I guess he was disheartened, but no matter how frustrated you are, you can't be so decadent, right? Why don't you even care about the grades of number one middle school students? Principal Jin and Monk Zhang Er were confused and could only continue to stare at the college entrance examination score list. As time goes by, the top 300 candidates have begun to appear on the scoreboard. But I still haven't seen the names of Xu Wei and Liang Jia, which means that their results must be in the top 300. This made Principal Jin very happy, wishing that the two of them would be ranked as high as possible. Sister, we are in the top 300. We are in the top 300. Xu Wei stared at the standings and waved excitedly to Liang Jia. Ranking in the top 300 in the college entrance examination is already an excellent result. Liang Jia also rarely smiled and nodded affirmatively, feeling equally excited. Xu Jing next to her smoothed her hair, smiled charmingly, and said expectantly, Keep reading, our names haven't appeared yet, maybe we can enter the top 200. She is already looking forward to her final ranking. Among the four, only Chen Zihan himself was still clenching his fists nervously staring at the standings with an expressionless face and saying nothing. It's in the top 200, it's really in the top 200. Xu Wei watched eagerly as the ranking on the standings entered within 200, and he was so excited that his mouth watered. 
I really didn't expect that I would be among the top 200. This year is a big year for the college entrance examination. Without 2,500 points, it is impossible to enter the top 200. My monster killing points are only 1,300, but I really entered the top 200. What does this mean? It shows that Fei Zhe is really awesome. He has definitely entered the 26th level of the 33rd layer, otherwise he would never have entered the top 200. My total points are not 2,300 points, but 2,800 points. Xu Wei jumped up excitedly when he thought of this. If he hadn't seen Brother Fei concentrating on what he was doing, and for fear of disturbing him, Xu Wei would have pounced on him and kissed him. It's all thanks to Brother Fei's guidance that I can achieve the results I have now. Liang Jia and Xu Jing next to them also realized what was going on. They looked at each other and saw joy and excitement on each other's faces. But the most excited person was Chen Zihan who said nothing. Her clenched fists covered with sweat finally loosened up, and her heart dropped mostly. If nothing else happens, Lin Fei should have climbed to the 26th floor. The 1,500 level points on the 26th level, plus my 1,600 points for killing monsters. The total points are 3,100 points. It should be no problem to enter the top 50. As Chen Zihan watched his ranking on the standings continue to rise, he felt more and more confident, and a smile finally broke out on his face. Time passed again. The rankings in the standings have entered the top 80 and top 70. The smiles on Liang Jia and Xu Jing's faces gradually disappeared, replaced by deep doubts. Xu Wei also opened his mouth in confusion, stared at the standings, and said blankly, Why do I feel something is wrong? We're already in the top 60, why haven't our names appeared yet? Lin Fei didn't hear Xu Hui's doubts, otherwise he would have answered him on the spot. Now, Lin Fei's attention is on the system mall. Experience is doubled randomly. Level. Black Iron Level. With this talent, you will have a certain chance of getting double experience after killing monsters. The probability is between 5% and 10%, and will not increase with the host level. Redemption Conditions. 70 Mission Points. Experience Doubled. Level. White Silver Level. With this talent, you will gain double experience after killing monsters, with a 100% chance. Redemption Conditions. 700 Mission Points. Black Iron Level Experience Randomly Doubled. Ghost Kill. Level. Black Iron Level. Spend a certain amount of mana to summon a ghost and god attached to the sword, and launch a powerful slash at the enemy, causing damage to the enemy. The power can be increased according to the level of the host. Redemption Conditions. 10 Mission Points. Lin Fei browsed through the item introductions in the system mall line by line. But after looking around, I couldn't find anything I was satisfied with. I looked at something I was satisfied with, but the mission points I redeemed were too high. I can't use those items with low redemption points. Is there nothing suitable for you? Lin Fei was a little reluctant and continued to read. After a while, I finally found a pretty good ability on the talent ability page. Skill increase. Level. Black iron level. After possessing this talent, there will be a 20% increase when using skills without consuming additional mana. The increase rate will not increase with the host level. Redemption conditions. 20 mission points. Lin Fei was very excited after reading the introduction of this talent. Having this ability can increase the power of my skills by 20% when I use them. Although the 20% increase is not much, the advantage is that it does not require additional mana consumption, and the increase will occur every time the skill is used. If I have this ability, my soul tentacle skills can capture larger soul fragments and increase more soul power. Of course, the most important thing is that it only requires 20 mission points, and I can redeem it now. Thinking like this, Lin Fei made up his mind to redeem this ability. But when he was about to redeem it, his eyes drifted to the next ability. Skills doubled. Level. White silver level. After possessing this talent, you will have a double increase when using skills without consuming additional mana. The increase rate will not increase with the host level. Redemption conditions. 500 mission points, black iron level skill increase. Same as doubling experience, this is doubling skills. Having it can increase the power of skills by 100%. Let me see, 
Are the redemption conditions 500 mission points and black iron level skill increase? It seems that I want to redeem this black iron level skill increase. Lin Fei no longer hesitated and spent 20 mission points to redeem the black iron level skill increase. At the same time, I was still thinking in my mind, the ability to double skills and the ability to double experience will be exchanged for me when I have more mission points in the future. They will be of great use to me. Teleport Plaza VIP Seats Principal Jin looked at the scoreboard that exuded golden light. The smile on his face gradually disappeared, and he felt more and more something was wrong in his heart. Strangeness. The ranking is already in the top 60, why haven't Xu Wei and Liang Jia's names appeared yet? The city lord next to him, Chen Han, also had the same question in his mind. Chen Zihan's name has not yet appeared on the standings. In this case, it stands to reason that she will most likely enter the top 50. But none of the other four people in the same group with her appeared on the standings, which was too abnormal. It's impossible for them all to be in the top 50, right? Chen Han dismissed this ridiculous idea from his mind and was filled with confusion. Xu Wei, Liang Jia, and Xu Jing were only level 11 before the college entrance examination. Normally, their names should be between 300 and 500. But now they are ranked in the top 60, and their names still do not appear on the standings. Could it be? Could it be? They violated the college entrance examination rules and were directly disqualified from taking the exam? Such a guess appeared in Chen Han's mind, and he suddenly felt panicked. Jin De sat aside, having the same guess in his mind, and his face gradually turned pale. They won't really violate the college entrance examination rules, right? It's impossible. I told them repeatedly before the college entrance examination not to violate the college entrance examination rules, otherwise they will be directly cancelled from the college entrance examination rules. How could they be so careless? But, apart from this reason, I really can't think of why their names don't appear in the standings. Principal Jin's heart skipped a beat, his face became paler and paler, and his hands even began to tremble. Chen Han next to him was not much better. He was very worried that Chen Zihan had violated the college entrance examination rules and couldn't help but look at Chen Zihan and Xu Wei in the square. Actually, Chen Zihan, Xu Wei and others also looked confused now. The rankings on the standings have already entered the top 50, why hasn't your name appeared yet? Isn't this too strange? Only those who fouled in the college entrance examination and were disqualified will not have their names appear on the scoreboard. Otherwise, no matter how bad the results are, his name can still appear on the standings. But, we obviously didn't commit any fouls in the college entrance examination. Why are we now ranked in the top 40 or 30, but our name is not yet on the standings? How so? Could it be? Several people eliminated all wrong answers in their minds, leaving only the last guess, the most impossible possibility. Xu Wei was stunned for a long time, and couldn't help but run to Lin Fei shook his arm, and asked quickly, Brother Fei, which level of the 33rd layer are you on? Brother Fei, what level of 33rd layer have you reached? Xu Hui's eyes widened and his tone was urgent. As he spoke, he kept shaking Lin Fei's arm with his fat hand. Lin Fei had just finished redeeming the black iron level skill increase. He originally wanted to take a look at the mission hall, but was interrupted by Xu Hui's sudden movement. He had no choice but to close the system panel and turn to look at Xu Wei and the others. I found that they were looking at me with very complicated expressions, with worries, expectations, confusion, and surprise in their eyes. How is this going? Lin Fei didn't react for a while and couldn't help but be a little surprised. He glanced left and right, then looked at everyone and asked strangely, Why are you looking at me like this? What happened? Xu Wei turned around pointed at the huge standings in the center of the square, and said, Brother Fei, the standings are out. Isn't this a good thing? But there is no name for us, and there is no name for you, Brother Fei. Ah? Uh, Lin Fei was surprised. There are no five of your names on the standings? Shouldn't it? The system notified me that I had won the top spot in the college entrance examination. How could I not be on the standings? Lin Fei looked up at the standings with a strange look on his face. He found that the rankings that appeared above had just reached the top 20. He looked at Xu Wei with a somewhat angry smile and said angrily, Isn't this the top 20 in the standings? It hasn't been finished yet, 
Why are you yelling that our names are not on it? It scared me. Xu Wei looked sad, raised his hand and pointed at the standings, and said in a hoarse voice, Brother Fei, the standings have already reached the top 20, but our names haven't appeared yet. Who wouldn't be afraid if we change? Only the top 20 are left. Unless Brother Fei climbs to the 30th floor and helps us increase our team points by 4,000 points, how can we get into the top 20? At this point, Xu Wei began to breathe quickly again, and asked cautiously, Brother Fei, you didn't really reach the 30th floor, did you? After excluding all wrong answers, the only reason their names did not appear was that they were ranked within the top 20. But this possibility is so low that it is even impossible. Unless Lin Fei can reach the 30th floor, there is no way they will be ranked in the top 20. But, they clearly remembered that Lin Fei's strength level before the college entrance examination was level 15. With such strength, it is possible to reach the 26th floor, but how is it possible to reach the 30th floor? You know, last year's college entrance examination top scorers didn't even reach the 30th level. Xu Wei and others basically had no hope. The reason why I still ask this is just because I instinctively want to grasp the last straw. But after hearing the question, Lin Fei just nodded calmly, smiled and said, The 30th floor, I did board it. What? Several people's expressions were stagnant, thinking that they had heard wrongly. But after reacting, they all looked at Lin Fei in disbelief. Lin Fei. Really climbed to the 30th floor? Several people couldn't believe this was true. The eyes he looked at Lin Fei were full of shock and surprise, and his mouth opened in an O shape unconsciously. Then I heard Lin Fei say shockingly, The 30th floor is just a stepping stone. I didn't end up staying on this floor. You might as well guess which floor I finally climbed to? A mysterious smile appeared on Lin Fei's face, and he asked Xu Wei and the others in a teasing tone. The minds of several people were now blank. They could not imagine that the number of floors Lin Fei had climbed was actually higher than the 30th floor. There was silence for a while, and no one opened their mouth to answer his question. It was Xu Wei who, after being stunned for a few seconds, asked cautiously and tentatively, Has Brother Fei boarded the 31st floor? Seeing that the mysterious smile on Lin Fei's face remained unchanged, he quickly changed his words. Is it the 32nd floor? No matter how bold he was, he could only speculate that Lin Fei had climbed to the 32nd floor. As for reaching the top, he simply did not dare to have such delusions in his heart. But Lin Fei directly turned his delusion into reality, saying with certainty, I climbed to the 33rd floor. After listening to this, several people were as stunned as would. The surprise in their hearts at this moment cannot be expressed in words. The height that Lin Fei has reached now is beyond their imagination or even their understanding. In their eyes, the college entrance examination record at the 30th level is already an insurmountable mountain. As for a mountain higher than this mountain, they really don't even dare to think about it. Liang Jia, Xu Jing, and Chen Zihan were stunned on the spot, unable to regain their senses for a long time. Xu Wei looked at Lin Fei dreamingly and said numbly, Brother Fei, pinch me and see if it hurts, and if I am dreaming. He really couldn't believe that Fei Zhe had actually reached the top of 33rd layer heaven. Isn't this too exaggerated? Although he was on the 22nd floor, he had this kind of daydream when he was separated from Lin Fei. Thinking that Fei Zhe can reach the top, scored 10,000 group points, and let himself enter Longguo Vocational University. But I never thought that this kind of dream would actually come true one day. A dream come true? This is really amazing. I'm not really dreaming, am I? Fatty Shu seriously suspected that he was dreaming. Lin Fei smiled after hearing what he said, and without being polite, kicked him on the butt. Suddenly Fatty Shu grimaced in pain and jumped around with his hands covering his buttocks. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Fatty Shu held his butt and jumped around Lin Fei, then stood in front of him, scratched his head and said, It's really not a dream. Brother Fei, you have really reached the top of the 33rd layer world. Lin Fei smiled and nodded. Then I saw Fatty Shu lowering his head and starting to paw. How many level points are there on the 33rd level? I remember it was. 10,000 points, right? Plus my 1,300 points for killing monsters. Then my total points are. 
11,300 points. After a while, Xu Wei finally finished counting his claws. Looking at his fat hands, his eyes began to shine. After only recognizing it for three seconds, he couldn't bear it any longer. He spread his fat paws and laughed stupidly. Guaiguai Long Di Cave. 11,300 points. I remember that Donghai Province's college entrance examination score record was just over 10,000 points, less than 11,000, right? I actually surpassed Donghai Province's college entrance examination score record in one fell swoop. Haha, <laughs> this is too awesome. Fatty Shu was so excited that he jumped up and down, even twisting his waist and dancing. His fat waist twisted and danced, making it blinding and unsightly. Lin Fei raised his right hand with a headache, covered his eyes, and turned his head not to look at him again. However, Fatty Shu didn't care at all. While continuing to dance happily, he giggled excitedly and said, Hey, 3,000 points will make you into the top 50. With 11,300 points, I will definitely have no problem entering Longguo Vocational University. Even in the standings, I'm at the top. Xu Wei stopped and turned to look at the college entrance examination scoreboard that was glowing with gold. The more he looked at it, the more adorable he felt. He couldn't help but rub his hands and said, The standings, the standings. I beg you to announce the top 20 quickly. Let everyone see my dazzling results. Fatty Xu now wants everyone to see how awesome he is. Lin Fei on the side was accustomed to his behavior of being thicker than the city wall and didn't bother to care. After Liang Jia, Xu Jing, and Chen Zihan came to their senses, they all understood how high their final scores were, and they would definitely be able to enter Longguo Vocational University. They were also very excited about it, but not as exaggerated as Fatty Xu showed. Then with a smile on his face, Shi Xiren came to Lin Fei and thanked him. Lin Fei, this time is really thanks to you. Otherwise, we would not have been able to obtain more than 10,000 points, nor would we have had the opportunity to enter Longguo Vocational University. Lin Fei smiled, waved his hand, and said casually, It's no big deal. We are all teammates, and that's how it should be. The three women insisted. Anyway, thank you very much this time. If you need any help in the future, just ask. They were laughing and joking, but in the VIP seats in the square, Chen Han and Principal Jin, who were still kept in the dark, were frowning with worried expressions on their faces. What happened in the college entrance examination? Why is it that the standings have reached the top 20, but Zihan's names haven't appeared yet? Chen Han had deep doubts in his mind, and he couldn't figure it out. Looking at the standings in the center of the square, the more I looked at it, the more panicked I became. No, I'm going to go find them and find out. Chen Han subconsciously wanted to find his daughter and ask them what happened in the college entrance examination. But as soon as he lifted his feet, he suddenly saw something strange happening over there. Xu Wei suddenly became excited for some reason, singing and dancing on the spot. Chen Zihan's three daughters also ran to Lin Fei, laughing but not knowing what to say. This scene is so weird no matter how you look at it. Chen Han couldn't help but shrink his pupils after seeing it. Their results haven't appeared in the standings so far, so why are they still excited? Isn't it because you were stimulated and lost control of your emotions? But that's not right. Why didn't they cry? Instead, they laughed. The more Chen Han thought about it, the more he became afraid and did not dare to go there for fear of irritating them again. Turning to look at Principal Jin beside him, he asked, Old Jin, these children, they. Chen Han stopped abruptly mid sentence unable to find words to describe this strange scene. Fortunately, Principal Jin also felt the same way. He also looked at Xu Wei with a strange expression, shook his head and said, I don't know what's going on. But don't disturb them for the time being. We'll talk about everything later when we get back. Chen Han understood and nodded in agreement. Then I heard Principal Jin say in a hesitant voice, Be prepared for the worst. Chen Han's expression suddenly stiffened but he still nodded his head in agreement. He stared at Chen Zihan and the others with worried expressions, fearing that something would happen again. Principal Wang next to him has been silently observing their actions. Seeing this last scene, I almost laughed out loud. The names of Lin Fei and several others did not appear on the standings? This is already ranked in the top 20. Needless to say, they will definitely fail the list. 
Haha, you deserve it. Because you were so high profile before, you almost blew Lin Fei to the sky. Now you must be extremely happy and sad. Principal Wang is so happy now. When he thought that Lin Fei didn't even make it up the standings, but Lu Zi could enter the top 10, the gap between the two suddenly became huge, he couldn't help but be excited. This will better demonstrate the power of our number one middle school, Principal Wang thought gloatingly. At the same time, I also have some speculations about the reasons why several people's names do not appear on the standings. Master Chin must have used some method to cause these people to foul in the college entrance examination and be directly disqualified from the college entrance examination. I'm just telling you, Lin Fei severely humiliated Master Chin before. Why can't Master Chin take revenge? If I had known this, I should have stopped Chen Zihan and Xu Jing from forming a team with Lin Fei. They are all students from number one middle school. Now Lin Fei has been implicated. Their qualifications for the college entrance examination have been cancelled, causing me to lose two good students from number one middle school. Oh, I should have thought of it earlier. It's also Chen Han's fault. He insisted on letting Chen Zihan and Lin Fei team up in the first place. Now he must be implicated. It's really his own fault. Principal Wang felt a little sorry for Chen Zihan and Xu Jing. If they had not teamed up with Lin Fei, the results of number one middle school would have been better. Forget it, if Lu Zi can enter the top 10 and be guaranteed to win the first place, it is already very good. I don't dare to ask for anything else. Principal Wang comforted himself in this way, he looked up at the standings again. I saw that the ranking shown above was about to reach the top 15. Wang Hu, Donghai City has a total score of 7,233 points, ranking 16th. Pei Ying, Donghai City, has a total score of 7,521 points, ranking 15th. Lu Zi, Riverside City, with a total of 7,831 points, ranked 14th. Um, Lu Zi, Principal Wang was stunned when he saw Lu Zi's name on the standings. Didn't Master Qin promise that Lu Zi would be in the top 10? Why is Lu Zi ranked 14th now? You know, the top 15 is just one level behind the top 10. When Principal Wang saw this result, he couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. However, he still cheered up and said secretly, the college entrance examination is too uncertain, and Master Chin cannot fully control it. It would be great to be able to get Lu Zi to 14th place. What's more, even at 14th place, Lu Zi's score is the highest in the history of Riverside City, and he is guaranteed to win this year's first place. Principal Wang regained his confidence and turned to look at Chen Han and Jin De beside him, with a smile on his face. How about it? Are you surprised or surprised? Did you not expect Lu Zi to achieve this result? Chen Han and Jin De really didn't expect Lu Zi to achieve this result. When they saw Lu Zi's name appearing on the standings and ranking high at 14th, their jaws almost dropped. Didn't Lu Zi only have level 9 before the college entrance examination? How could he suddenly get 14th place in the college entrance examination? Isn't this too weird? Why are there so many weird things today? The two of them looked weird and turned to look at Principal Wang, looking for an answer. Of course, Principal Wang would not tell them that Lu Zi's grades were so good because he was close to the big tree Chin Hao. That would make Lu Zi look too incompetent and he would not be able to save his face. So he pretended that he had just learned about this, and pretended to be surprised. Oh, why is Lu Zi ranked 14th in the standings? Didn't he only have level 9 before the college entrance examination? How could he get such a high score in the college entrance examination? Tisk, tisk, with more than 7,000 points, last year's top scorer in the college entrance examination is nothing more than that, right? What a surprise, Principal Wang said with an expression of wonder. The tone of his voice was more of a show off than a surprise. Lu Zi's score in the college entrance examination was so good this time that he became very proud and even spoke tougher. Then he deliberately said to Chen Han and Jin De, I remember that in the history of our Riverside City, the highest score in the college entrance examination was 19th, right? That candidate's name and score are still engraved on the honor list in the teleportation square. This kid Lu Zi actually broke our Riverside City's high historical record, it's really surprising. His words were full of showing off Lu Zi's achievements.
He almost had the words, Lu Zi is the most awesome, engraved on his forehead. After hearing these boastful words, Chen Han and Jin De didn't say a word, looking sad and not knowing what they were thinking. They are so worried now that they have no time to talk to Principal Wang. But Principal Wang was also ignorant. He turned around, looked at Jinda with a half smile, winked and said, Old Jin, I'm really sorry this time. The first place this year may go to our number one middle school. I didn't expect that Lu Zi's results would be so good, and he would overwhelm all the candidates in Riverside City. But don't be discouraged. Although the students from number two middle school did not do well in the exam this year, they will still have a chance next year. His hypocritical behavior and his villainous demeanor made Jinda angry when he saw it and he wished he could go up and shave his big ears. But what he said was true. Jinda couldn't get angry at all, so he had to hold back his anger and grievance and said, Congratulations to Principal Wang, for producing such a great student this year. Where, where, Principal Jin gave me the award. Principal Wang waved his hands modestly on the surface, but he was even more proud in his heart. Then he seemed to be talking to himself. Oh, Lu Zi accidentally refreshed Riverside City's college entrance examination record this time. It seems that the first position on the teleportation square's honor list will be given to him. However, his results are so good this time. If he is only on the honor roll, I'm afraid he won't be able to inspire future candidates. How about I build another statue of him and place it at the gate of Number One Middle School? In this way, all the students in Number One Middle School can see it and learn from him as an example. Well, I think you can do that. Principal Wong pretended to consider the matter. But in fact, these words were said to Jinda, and they were showing off to Jinda here. After hearing these words, Jinda was naturally very depressed and aggrieved. He turned to look at Principal Wong, suppressed his anger, gritted his teeth, and said, Principal Wong, can you go back and say something? Don't disturb others by talking here. Principal Wong immediately pretended to be very surprised. And quickly nodded and apologized. Oh, I'm so sorry, Principal Jin. I just said a few words, but I didn't expect to disturb you. I won't say it now, I won't say it now, Principal Wong chuckled and stopped showing off. But he pretended to be concerned, reached out and patted Principal Jin on the shoulder, and comforted him hypocritically. Principal Jin, don't be so impatient. I can understand your current mood. We also have students in number one middle school. Just like Lin Fei and the other three, their names have not yet appeared in the standings. I'm also very worried, but we still have to have confidence in our students. The standings haven't all been announced yet, maybe their ranking is still above Lu Zi. When he said this, he didn't even believe it, I just wanted to rub salt into Principal Jin's wounds. After hearing this, Principal Jin looked constipated, he suppressed his anger and turned his head to look at the scoreboard in the center of the square. I saw that the standings have now begun to announce the top 10. Yao Xin, Donghai City, has a total of 9,356 points, ranking 10th. Sha Xin Yu, Donghai City, has a total score of 9,588 points, ranking 9th. Chen Jialong, Donghai City, total points 10,105 points, ranked 8th. Zhao Meng, Donghai City, total points 10,280 points, ranked 7th. Chin Hao, Donghai City, with a total score of 11,198 points, ranked 6th. Xu Wei, Riverside City, total points 11,320 points, ranked 5th. Xu. Xu Wei. Principal Jin was stunned when he saw Xu Hui's name ranked 5th in the standings. He raised his hand and rubbed his eyes a few times to make sure he saw correctly. He pulled Chen Han's arm with a look of horror pointed to the standings in the distance and said, Old Chen, Old Chen, look at the standings. What happened to the standings? Chen Han looked haggard and looked up at the standings. The top five in the standings were announced. Xu Wei, Riverside City, total points 11,320 points, ranked fifth. Xu Jing, Riverside City, with a total of 11,453 points, ranked fourth. Liang Jia, Riverside City, with a total of 11,499 points, ranked third. Chen Zihan, Riverside City, total points 11,673 points, ranked two. Lin Fei, Riverside City, total points 42,780 points, ranked one. What? 
When Chen Han saw the top five in the standings, his eyes almost popped out of his head, and his mouth was open so wide that he could almost put down a duck egg. Why did Lin Fei's names suddenly appear in the top five of the standings? Zihan. Dot she ranked second in the college entrance examination? This. Dot how is this possible? Chen Han's breathing gradually became heavier and his chest heaved. He couldn't believe that everything he saw was real. He has experienced many storms over the years, but he has never been as shocked as he was today. In fact, he is relatively calm now. Principal Jin beside him was so happy that he kept mumbling. Xu Wei has 11,320 points. Liang Jia has 11,499 points. Lin Fei has 42,780 points. Everyone's scores are actually 10,000. Point above. How on earth did they do it, topping the top five? Lin Fei's team actually took all the top five spots. I'm not dreaming. I'm probably dreaming. Principal Jin held his head in his hands and kept thinking. He was so happy that he couldn't recover for a while. Principal Wang next to him was stunned when he saw that Lin Fei and five others had taken the top five in the standings. Although his head was not short-circuited, his heart was still full of disbelief. How is this going? Didn't Lin Fei and the others fail the exam? How could he suddenly take over the top five in the standings? Moreover, how come Master Qin is ranked sixth in the standings? Isn't he determined to win the top spot in the college entrance examination? How could Lin Fei and five other people squeeze him out? Also, how come all five of Lin Fei's points are above 10,000 points? How on earth did they do it? This. This is incredible, right? Principal Wang's heart was filled with questions. His right hand unconsciously rested on his left arm, and he pinched it a dozen times in a row, almost drawing out the blood, but he still hadn't woken up from this dream. He couldn't help but widen his eyes, and an ominous guess came to his mind. Could it be that this was all a dream, and was it all real? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Principal Wang was screaming in his heart, he couldn't believe that everything before him was real. Donghai Province's college entrance examination score record is only 10,000 points. The results of five of them are actually higher than this record. How is this possible? And Xin Hao. He has the support of the Qin family behind him, he is a hidden professional himself, and he has formed the strongest team. So he was squeezed out by the five of them. Isn't this too magical? The five of them also took the top five places in the college entrance examination. I've never heard of a group doing it in the college entrance examination, how could they? Principal Wang screamed inwardly, slowly the madness weakens. He stared blankly down at his arm that had been pinched red, and felt pain in his arm. He was stunned for a while before gradually accepting this cruel reality. But this made him even more painful and even began to doubt life. Why? Why did it end up like this? Lu Zi and Qin Hao teamed up, but with Qin Hao's help, they couldn't surpass Lin Fei and the others? Even Qin Hao himself was squeezed out by five Lin Fei. How could they be so powerful? Can't even compare to Qin Hao, who has the support of the Qin family. Principal Wang's hands began to tremble and his mouth was full of bitterness. He felt funny when he thought of what he had just said to Jin De. Lu Zi topped the honor list? And give him a statue in front of number one middle school? This is a joke. Principal Wang now wants to slap himself twice. Why did he talk such nonsense then? Okay now, the words have been spoken out, but what will happen next? Lin Fei's five are far higher than Lu Zi in terms of points and rankings. Compared with them, Lu Zi is nothing. Can Jin Dei let go of this opportunity to take revenge on himself? He will definitely give himself a hard squeeze just like he did in the dungeon square. Damn it, history is repeating itself. Principal Wang's heart was filled with 10,000 grass and mud horses galloping past. Recalling how he was squeezed by Jinda in the dungeon square, he wanted to die in shame and anger. But next, I have to go through this again. This is simply no way for people to survive. Principal Wang's face turned into a bitter melon look, and he complained inwardly. They say you can't fall twice at the same place. But why didn't I learn my lesson? Why didn't I wait until the standings were announced before showing off to Kinder? It's fine now. I was caught by Jinda's pigtails and completely finished. 
Principal Wong was so disheartened that his whole body collapsed. While he was breaking down, Chen Han and Jin De gradually recovered from the shock. Looking at the standings hanging high in the center of the square, they finally confirmed that they had seen it right, it was all true. The two looked at each other and saw ecstasy in each other's eyes. Lin Fei and the others really took the top five places in the college entrance examination, and their scores were all over 10,000 points. This is nothing short of a miracle, especially Lin Fei, with 42,780 points, ranked first, and the top scorer in the college entrance examination. Such a genius is actually my student. What a surprise. Principal Jin's lips trembled with excitement, and his current mood could no longer be expressed in words. He couldn't help but take another look at the standings. When I saw that the group points behind the names of the five people were all 10,000 points, I immediately understood everything. 10,000 group points, these are the group points you can get only by climbing to the 33rd floor. It's Lin Fei, it must be Lin Fei, he reached the 33rd floor and got 10,000 group points, so Xu Wei and his team's score will be over 10,000 points. Principal Jin thought everything through, clenched his fists tightly, and was so excited that he couldn't control himself. His highest expectation for Lin Fei before was to reach the 26th floor. Unexpectedly, Lin Fei gave himself a big surprise. He climbed to the 33rd floor, 33rd layer the highest level of heaven. This is a feat that has never happened in the history of Donghai Province's college entrance examination. Now Lin Fei has done it. He even sent his teammates to the sky along the way. It's simply too excellent and too devilish, Principal Jin was so excited that he was speechless when he thought that he might also go down in history because of Lin Fei. Next to him, Chen Han also saw through the group points that Lin Fei had reached the top of 33rd layer, and was once again stunned. He stands in a higher position than Jinda and knows more things than Jinda. So his first subconscious thought is to recall how many people in the history of Dragon Kingdom have reached the highest level of 33rd layer. It seems. There are only two, right? These two people are both famous and household names in the Dragon Kingdom. But Lin Fei actually did the same thing and stood at the same level as them. The meaning behind this is self-evident. Chen Han clenched his iron fists tightly, and his face turned blood red with excitement. It was really wise for me to help Zihan and Lin Fei form a team to take the college entrance examination. Because of this, Zihan gained 10,000 group points in the college entrance examination and directly ranked second in the Donghai Province college entrance examination. This is an excellent ranking. In addition to ensuring that she can enter Longguo Vocational University, it is also very likely that she will receive more attention and training because of this ranking. However, What's more important is that Zihan got to know Lin Fei and developed a friendship between them. Lin Fei has a bright future. It is definitely a great thing to get to know him at this time. Even if the relationship between the two is just ordinary friends, it will bring her indescribable benefits in her future development. It's really a big profit this time. Chen Han now feels like he spent 2 yuan to buy a lottery ticket, but won 5 million. With just a small gift of thanks, my daughter could team up with Lin Fei to take the college entrance examination and gain his friendship. It was a real gain. He was even thinking about whether to send some more thank you gifts to Lin Fei to thank him for helping his daughter get the second place in the college entrance examination, and to make friends with him again. What should I give Lin Fei? Chen Han touched his chin, thinking about what kind of thank you gift he should give Lin Fei. Lin Fei will definitely have a bright future in the future and he must quickly take advantage of this opportunity to make friends with Lin Fei. Otherwise, if you miss this village, you won't have this store. When Lin Fei grew up in the future, even if you wanted to curry favor with him, he was not qualified. However, he didn't know what Lin Fei needed now, and he was afraid that the thank you gift he sent would not satisfy Lin Fei. I remember that Lin Fei seemed to be in great need of mana recovery potion before. I can give him more this time. I still have a lot of high grade inventory there. He is still a lord. I can give him some standard weapons, equipment, and resources so that he can use them to arm his summons. Well, besides the above, what else can I give? This is obviously not enough. Chen Han frowned, thinking about giving Lin Fei something else. Suddenly, his body shook suddenly, and he remembered something important Lin Fei has a bright future. 
I want to take this opportunity to make friends with him. Others are not fools. They will definitely try to curry favor with him. Not to mention anything else, just talking about the major families in Riverside City, they will definitely donate a lot of resources and equipment in order to make friends with Lin Fei. In this case, if I only give away some resources and equipment, I won't stand out among everyone, and I won't make Lin Fei look at him differently. Then what should I give as a gift? Chen Han lowered his head and fell into deep thought. Is there anything that only I can give but others can't? He kept thinking in his mind. Suddenly he recalled that he had gone to Lin Fei's house before and saw a group of people trying to establish relations with Lin Fei's parents and recognize their relatives. He found inspiration from it and his eyes lit up. Yes, I can't just focus on Lin Fei. I can also start with the people around him. Lin Fei's parents live in Riverside City. I can definitely use my status as the city lord to help his parents. I heard that Lin Fei's parents both work in life-related professions and their grades are not high. I can give them some experience potions first, or send someone to help them fight monsters and clear dungeons to improve their level. But it's still too simple. Remember, there are still some vacant positions in the city. They are not critical. With more money and less work, we can definitely arrange them for them and improve their status in Riverside City. Lin Fei's house can also be changed. Arrange their family to live next to the city lord's mansion and the guild, so that there will be guards patrolling 24 hours a day, making it safer. I can still. Chen Han seemed to have opened the door to a new world and thought of many things he could do for Lin Fei. And most of these things, only he, the city lord, can do, and others cannot. This will attract Lin Fei's attention. Chen Han made up his mind and ordered people to get all these things done. It should be enough to get to this point. A faint smile appeared on Chen Han's face. He didn't laugh for a while before he suddenly realized a very serious problem. Remember this time last year? Lin Shui achieved 23rd place in the college entrance examination. Longguo Vocational University sent a teacher to Riverside City to pick her up from school. But in fact, in addition to teachers from Longguo Vocational University, teachers from several prestigious schools have also come to Riverside City one after another. They want to rob people midway. It was only the teachers from Longguo Vocational University who took Lin Shui away in advance, which made their trip in vain. And this year, will there be teachers from many schools competing for Lin Fei? Most definitely. Chen Han's expression gradually became serious and his eyes were solemn. Being the top scorer in the college entrance examination in Donghai province is nothing. Every year, more than 20 people are born in the Dragon Kingdom. But reaching the highest level of 33rd layer in the college entrance examination, this is something only two big figures have ever accomplished in the history of the Dragon Kingdom. Now that Lin Fei has done it, it means that he has the same potential as those two big shots. When those famous schools find out, they will fight for Lin Fei like crazy. Perhaps, some big shots from the Dragon Kingdom will also come to visit Lin Fei after hearing the news. Even, after Abyss knows about this, it is very likely that he will send strong men to kill Lin Fei in advance and not let him continue to grow. Thinking of this, Chen Han suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. He is the lord of Riverside City and knows many things that ordinary people don't know. Every year in the Dragon Kingdom, some candidates with excellent grades are assassinated from the Abyss. Abyss has always been unscrupulous in this matter and is particularly crazy. There are even some strong men from the Abyss who will commit suicide and enter the human race city to die together with the target candidates. Lin Fei's achievement of reaching the top of the 33rd layer heaven will definitely put him at the top of the Abyss assassination list. But during this period of time, Lin Fei has no strong protection around him, which is the best time for the Abyss to strangle him. Maybe, the killer sent by Abyss is already on his way to Riverside City. Think of this. Chen Han couldn't help but look up and scan the teleportation square, fearing that a monster would suddenly appear and assassinate Lin Fei. Lin Fei has high talent and great potential, and is very important to Longguo. After his results are spread, I'm afraid Long Jing will be directly alarmed. Long Jing will definitely send strong men to protect him. So, don't worry too much about the assassination of the Abyss. Chen Han felt relieved when he thought of this but he did not relax because of this, and was still very nervous inside. I must protect Lin Fei's safety before the strong men sent by Long Jing arrive. 
Otherwise I will be a sinner of the Dragon Kingdom. Chen Han looked solemn and stressed, feeling more nervous than ever before. He clenched his fists tightly, his eyes were sharp, and he gritted his teeth and thought. I must protect Lin Fei's safety these days. This is not only a responsibility but also an opportunity for me. Lin Fei got such good results in the college entrance examination, I could have received a credit for it. If I can still protect Lin Fei's safety before the strong men from Longjing arrive, that will be another achievement. Maybe, my position that has not changed for more than 10 years will finally be able to move. Chen Han couldn't help but feel a little hot when he thought of this. Whether it was for the Dragon Kingdom or for himself, he must protect Lin Fei's safety. Next to him, Jinda didn't think as much as he did. After seeing Lin Fei achieve such amazing results, he immediately put on a new and arrogant attitude, making everyone look down upon him. Lin Fei is a student of my second middle school. He has achieved such excellent results, and the entire number two middle school is proud of him. Among the dozens of high schools in Riverside City, our number two middle school is the number one. Jin De held his head high and his heart was full of pride. Seeing the silent Principal Wong next to him, he couldn't help but sneer on his face. Lu Zi ranked 14th in the college entrance examination, is he awesome? He, compared with Lin Fei, he is down by more than one level. I remember, weren't you quite arrogant just now? You kept showing off to me how powerful Lu Zi was. Why did you lower your head and say nothing when you saw Lin Fei's results now? You don't think I'll let you go like this, do you? Of course Jin De would not let go of this opportunity to take revenge on Principal Wong. He turned towards Principal Wong, and the first sentence he spoke made Principal Wong feel ashamed. Old Wong, tell me if your mouth is open. I just said that Lin Fei's ranking may be higher than Lu Zi's. As a result, they took all the top five places in the college entrance examination. It's so accurate. You are so awesome. Jin De patted Principal Wong on the shoulder and gave him a thumbs up, his face full of pride. After hearing this, Principal Wong was so angry that he almost vomited blood. He was just polite before and didn't believe anything he said. But who would have thought? My ragged crow mouth really hit the mark. Lin Fei and the other five are really ranked above Lu Zi. Even his own words were used by Jin De to ridicule him. Where can I go to reason with you? Principal Wong felt that he was extremely unlucky. How could he even be in the top five of the college entrance examination? He was slapped in the face by Jin De. He really wanted to reply now. If my mouth is really open, I will curse Lin Fei to be disqualified from the college entrance examination and his results will be invalidated. After enduring it again and again, he swallowed the words. Then he lowered his head and said nothing, not wanting to talk to Jin De. But Jin De would not let him go so easily. Pretending to be concerned again, she continued to pat him on the shoulder and said, Old Wong, what's wrong with you? Why don't you speak? You're not discouraged just because our number two middle school won the first place this year, right? No, it really isn't. You must not do this. Actually, I didn't expect that Lin Fei's grades would be so good, and he would overwhelm all the candidates in Riverside City at once. But don't lose heart. Although the students from number one middle school did not do well in the exam this year, they will still have a chance next year. These are Principal Wang's own words, it was originally meant to be a dig at Kinder. Now Jin De is using it to ridicule himself. Principal Wang felt like he shot himself in the foot. He then heard Jin De continue to comfort him. I said Lao Wang, don't think so hard, a temporary failure is nothing. Besides, although your number one middle school's results this year are not as good as number two middle school, they are actually not bad. Chen Zihan ranked second in the college entrance examination and Xu Jing ranked fourth in the college entrance examination. These are good results that Riverside City has never seen before. You can have some fun when you go back. What's there to be upset about? Every word Jin De comforted Principal Wang was like a knife, piercing Principal Wang's heart. The corners of Principal Wang's mouth twitched, and he really wanted to curse. Chen Zihan ranked second in the college entrance examination and Xu Jing ranked fourth in the college entrance examination. These results are indeed good. But does it have anything to do with him? These are all the results they achieved by teaming up with Lin Fei. They took advantage of Lin Fei from number two middle school and had nothing to do with him. 
no matter how thick-skinned he is, can he still take the credit? Say it again. I originally wanted number one middle school to avenge its shame and suppress number two middle school. As a result, the two students with the best grades in number one middle school got their rankings only because of the students in number two middle school. This is simply embarrassing, it's a joke if you tell me. Principal Wong is extremely embarrassed now and wants to find a mouse hole to crawl into so as not to be embarrassed here. Jinda didn't have the consciousness to give up when things were good, so he chuckled and said, but Lao Wang, your previous suggestions were really good. Although Lin Fei ranked first on the Riverside City College entrance examination honor list. But just being on the honor roll may not inspire future candidates. I should also build a statue of him and place it at the gate of number two middle school. In this way, all the students in number two middle school can see it and learn from him as an example. Principal Wang almost lost his temper after hearing Jin Da's words. He originally wanted to build a statue of Lu Zi to show off. Result. Not only did Lu Zi fail to compare with Lin Fei, Shen Zihan and Xu Jing also suppressed him. Now Lu Zi is not only not the first among candidates in Riverside City, he is not even the first among candidates in number one middle school. Among the candidates in number one middle school, he only ranked third. With this achievement, why should we erect a statue? Are students from number one middle school still allowed to study? What a waste of time to learn. When I get back, I will quickly smash the statue I made. If others found out about this, it would be really embarrassing and would be thrown into my grandma's house. Principal Wong looked helpless and did not dare to look up at Jinda. He was afraid that he would explode with anger after seeing Jinda's villainous face. At the same time, he also began to secretly complain about Chin Hao in his heart. Chin Hao, you are nothing but a waste. Master Chin family, the strongest team, they all combined can't compare to Lin Fei alone. He also boasted to me that he could win the top spot in the college entrance examination and ensure that Lu Zi would be among the top 10 in the college entrance examination. Shit. You didn't even get into the top 5, but you still won the top spot in the college entrance examination. I am now being ridiculed by Jin Da, and half of it is because of you. Principal Wong complained in his heart that Chin Hao was bragging about not drafting, and that he was slapped in the face by Jin Da because he believed his words. Don't listen to such bragging in the future, otherwise this will be the end. Principal Wong secretly warned himself in his heart. Actually, he was just so angry that he used Chin Hao as an outlet. In fact, he knew very well that Chin Hao was already very powerful. Looking at points alone, Chin Hao's 11,198 points have already broken Donghai Province's college entrance examination points record. If Lin Fei hadn't come out of nowhere, he would have been the sure winner in the college entrance examination. But Lin Fei was born. The points for killing monsters alone are 3,000, which is three times the record of points in the college entrance examination. He also climbed to the top of the 33rd layer sky, gained 10,000 team points, and along the way, Xu Wei and the other five scumbags were also sent to the sky. How can this compare? It's really incomparable. Even if Heavenly King comes, I still can't compare to Lin Fei. Chin Hao and Lin Fei took the college entrance examination in the same year, which was a bloody misfortune for ten lifetimes. Not only Chin Hao, but also taking the college entrance examination in the same year as Lin Fei is a tragedy for all candidates this year. Principal Wong was disheartened and speechless by Lin Fei, and even gradually began to envy Jin Da. This guy was really lucky to meet a good student like Lin Fei. Otherwise, with the three melons and two dates from the second middle school, how could they be the opponents of the first middle school? It was because of the addition of Lin Fei that the situation was completely reversed, and number one middle school was completely defeated by number two middle school. God is so unfair. Why did you assign a genius like Lin Fei to Jinda, but left me with a bunch of idiots and trash? Who am I provoking? Principal Wong cried inwardly, feeling that he was so unfortunate. Riverside City Teleport Plaza. After the top five in the standings appeared, there was an uproar in the square. Lin Fei, Riverside City. Shen Zihan, Riverside City. Liang Jia, Riverside City. Xu Jing, Riverside City. Xu Wei, Riverside City. Oh my god! Among the top 10 in the college entrance examination, 
there are actually five candidates from our Riverside City. And they actually took the top five places in the college entrance examination. I'm not dazzled, right? Is this true? Some candidates exclaimed on the spot, unable to believe that what they saw was real. Everyone around him looked incredulous. Lin Fei, Chen Zihan, Xu Jing. Aren't the five of them in the same group? Their group directly took the top five places in the college entrance examination? This is too exaggerated. I just saw Lu Zi ranked 14th in the standings. I thought he was the best. I didn't expect that these five would be even more powerful. Everyone's total points are above 10,000 points, and Lin Fei, who is number one, has as high as 40,000 points. How on earth did they do it? I worked so hard on the 16th floor, and in the end I only got a little over a thousand points. Some candidates recognized Lin Fei and the other five and marveled at their huge points. There are also some people who, seeing that the five-person team score is 10,000 points, can't help but wonder, 10,000 team points? What level of the 33rd layer did they climb to? I remember the teacher said before that after reaching the 30th floor, the group points will only be 4,000 points, right? Did they get to the 31st or 32nd floor? Donghai Province's college entrance examination records only reach the 30th level. Therefore, high school teachers in Riverside City only introduce the situation below the 30th floor, and basically do not mention the situation above the 30th floor. This caused the vast majority of candidates to be confused after seeing the 10,000 group points, unable to tell which level of the 33rd layer Lin Fei's group had climbed to. Only a few big family members guessed that Lin Fei's group had reached the 33rd floor. 10,000 group points correspond to the highest level of 33rd layer. A young man in brocade robes answered in a deep voice for everyone. When everyone heard this, their jaws almost dropped. Lin Fei and the others actually climbed to the 33rd floor. This news quickly spread among the people in the square. Thanks to Tolin Fei, all the candidates in Riverside City now know that by climbing to the top of the 33rd layer sky, you can get 10,000 team points. The highest level in the 33rd layer sky, they actually climbed to it. Donghai Province's college entrance examination record only reached the 30th level, right? Doesn't this mean that they broke the college entrance examination record? Unbelievable. How on earth did they do that? It's Lin Fei, it must be Lin Fei. Chen Zihan's monster killing points are only over 1,000 points, while Lin Fei's monster killing points are as high as 30,000. This means that it must be Lin Fei who climbed to the 33rd floor. Holy crap! I could only look up to him when he cleared the difficult level dungeon before, and now he has reached the highest level of 33rd layer. People's faces showed various expressions, expressing their inner surprise. Then all eyes fell on Lin Fei and the other five. For a moment, the entire teleportation square became extremely quiet. Lin Fei was not used to being watched by so many people. He turned to Liang Jia and the others beside him and said, The standings are out and you have all seen the results. Let's go now. Liang Jia and others nodded and had no objections. They also felt uncomfortable being watched by so many people. Only Fatty Shu felt good about himself. He stood there with his hands on his hips assuming a very glorious posture, enjoying the gaze of everyone in the square. Lin Fei glanced at the arrogant fatty Shu, shook his head secretly, and was the first to walk towards the VIP area of the square. Chen Zihan and Xu Jing followed immediately. When Liang Jia saw this, she wanted to follow him, but she saw fatty Shu next to him still posing, as if he didn't intend to go together, she felt so embarrassed. So, he reached out and twisted his ears, and forcefully pulled him away. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, sister, please be gentle. Fatty Shu shouted in pain while staggering to follow Liang Jia. Liang Jia ignored his plea and quickly followed Lin Fei and the others. Lin Fei walked at the front. When the candidates around him saw him coming, they immediately stepped back to make way for him. They arrived at the VIP area unimpeded in a square full of candidates. Lin Fei, you really gave me a big surprise this time. Before Lin Fei and the others entered the VIP area, Principal Jin greeted them with a smile on his face. He patted Lin Fei's shoulder heavily and couldn't help but praise, Lin Fei, you are simply a legend. Winning the top spot in the college entrance examination and reaching the top of the 33rd layer world. 
you have actually done things that I never dreamed of. This time, you are going to be completely famous, and you will be included in the history books. Our number two middle school will also become famous because of you. Principal Jin praised and boasted about Lin Fei. Lin Fei felt a little embarrassed by what he said, and humbly replied. The principal commended me, I'm just lucky, that's all. Principal Jin looked disbelieving, patted him on the shoulder again and said, stop being humble. This is not luck, it is clearly strength. I have already thought about it. I will put up your statue at the entrance of number two middle school later. Let the students of number two middle school learn from you in the future, and at the same time, they can also enjoy your happiness. When Lin Fei heard that the principal wanted to build a statue for himself, the corners of his mouth twitched twice, and he opened his mouth to refuse. But Principal Jin didn't give him a chance to refuse. He patted his chest and said to him, You don't have to worry about the statue. It's all taken care of by me. I promise to use the best stones and the best carvers to build a big and domineering statue for you. Lin Fei's mouth twitched even more fiercely, but seeing Principal Jin acting imperatively, he opened his mouth but finally said nothing and let him go. Principal Wang of Number One Middle School followed behind the city lord Chen Han. When he saw Chen Zihan and Xu Jing, he looked a little embarrassed. Both of their achievements were excellent, but they had nothing to do with them, they were all due to Lin Fei. When he thought about this, he couldn't even say a word. He had no choice but to stand behind Chen Han. When Chen Han saw everyone, he didn't exchange too many greetings and said straight to the point. The five of you have just finished the college entrance examination and are all tired. Go back and have a rest first. You don't have to worry about the rest of things like volunteering. I will help you arrange it. Thank you city lord. Lin Fei and others said their thanks. Chen Han nodded and said, I have arranged for the guards to escort you home together. Zihan, you also go with them. Chen Han's eyes finally fell on his daughter. Chen Zihan nodded, and together with Liang Jia, they left under the escort of guards. Lin Fei did not leave because Principal Jin would send him back. But Chen Han said to him at this time, Lin Fei, wait for a while after you get in the car. I will finish arranging things and take you home with Principal Jin. Lin Fei thought for a while, then nodded and followed Principal Jin to the hover car. When Principal Wang next to him saw this scene, he was a little confused. What's going on with Chen Han? If you don't send your daughter home, why do you send Lin Fei away? Is this your biological father? After Lin Fei left, Chen Han looked at the steward who had just come over and directly ordered, Inform us immediately. From now on, the whole city of Riverside City is under martial law. No one is allowed to go out at will. The number of sentry posts on the city wall has been doubled and monitored 24 hours a day. Anything that happens must be reported in a timely manner. At the same time, double the number of guards will be arranged to patrol the city and carefully search for suspicious characters. What? Martial law in the city? The steward opened his mouth wide, too surprised to speak. The entire city is under martial law, but that will only be implemented when Riverside City is attacked. Now the area around Riverside City is safe and there is no danger. Why is the city owner suddenly under martial law? The steward was filled with doubts. Principal Wang next to him also looked puzzled. What is Chen Han going to do? With such a large formation, it looked like Riverside City was about to be attacked. But Riverside City is obviously safe now, did he take the wrong medicine? Then I heard Chen Han explain, it's not convenient for me to tell you the specific reason. But I can tell you that there is a high probability that there will be danger in Riverside City in the next few days. So, you don't have to think so much, just do what I say. When the steward heard this, he instinctively believed the city lord, nodded and said, I will immediately arrange for people to put the entire city under martial law. Then he frowned and asked, Sir, what reason should I use to explain the city's martial law to the residents in the city? Chen Han thought for a while and said, Just tell them that they suddenly received news that a large number of monsters were found gathering outside the city. Riverside City has put the entire city under martial law to guard against monster attacks. However, the martial law will be lifted within three days at most, so you don't have to worry too much, let alone panic. Yes. The steward nodded, relieved, and asked, City Lord, is there anything else? 
Chen Han put his hands behind his back and continued to give instructions. You can find a villa next to the city lord's mansion. I will arrange for Lin Fei's family to live there. Uh. Dot yes. Although the steward didn't understand why the city lord wanted to do this, he still nodded and agreed. Then I heard Chen Han add, We will find a house within half a day. This. The steward was a little embarrassed. The area around the city lord's mansion is the core area of Riverside City and is also the safest place in Riverside City. Those who can live there are not ordinary people. It is not an easy task to vacate a house for Lin Fei's family in half a day. The steward instinctively wanted the city lord to give him a few more days of grace, but after meeting Chen Han's eyes, he couldn't help but shudder, and immediately agreed, promising to complete the task. Then he excused himself and left to seize the time to arrange martial law throughout the city and find a house. The steward himself couldn't understand why the city lord was so anxious to arrange for Lin Fei to live near the city lord's mansion. But when Principal Wang next to him heard Chen Han suddenly mention Lin Fei, he suddenly understood and finally understood what was going on. Chen Han imposed martial law throughout the city, arranged for Lin Fei's family to live near the city lord's mansion and even personally sent Lin Fei home. It turns out that the purpose of putting on such a big display is to protect Lin Fei. Principal Wang thought to himself, there were rumors before that some outstanding candidates for the college entrance examination were assassinated after the college entrance examination and died on the spot. I originally thought these were rumors, but now they appear to be true. Someone really tried to assassinate outstanding college entrance examination candidates. And Lin Fei is the top scorer in the college entrance examination in Donghai province, and has also reached the top of the 33rd layer. The other party will definitely put Lin Fei first on the assassination list, and will send the most powerful killer to assassinate Lin Fei. No wonder Chen Han was so nervous and put on such a big show to protect Lin Fei. Principal Wang suddenly realized that he was no longer surprised by Chen Han's previous behavior. After the steward left, Chen Han was in no hurry to leave, he stood still and exhaled heavily. The entire city is under martial law to prevent assassins from sneaking into Riverside City. Arranging Lin Fei's family to live near the city lord's mansion would make it easier for him to protect them. What I have done should be able to ensure Lin Fei's safety to the greatest extent. Just wait for the strong men from Longjing to arrive and the alert can be completely lifted. Thinking of this, Chen Han felt relieved. He turned to look at Principal Wang and asked, I'll take Lin Fei home, will Principal Wang come with me? No, no need. I have something else to do and I have to go back to school first. Upon hearing this, Principal Wang waved his hand and refused. Lin Fei might be assassinated and was in danger, and he didn't want to get into trouble. Seeing Principal Wang's behavior, Chen Han understood what he was thinking. He sneered in his heart that he was short-sighted, and without forcing himself, he raised his legs and walked in the direction of the hover car. Principal Wang looked at Chen Han's leaving figure and breathed a sigh of relief. And secretly looking forward to whether Lin Fei would really be assassinated. It would be interesting if Lin Fei was really assassinated. Principal Wang was thinking as he left the teleportation square. Push the time back 10 minutes. Donghai City, College Entrance Examination Square. The reminder that the college entrance examination is about to end echoed in the square. Chi He in the VIP room exhaled heavily after hearing the prompt. After the college entrance examination, the standings will be announced immediately. He doesn't need to stay here anymore to prevent Wu Liang and Wu Liang from spreading news about Lin Fei. The principal sent a message before, saying that he came to Donghai province to find Lin Fei in person. He is now on his way and will arrive in a short time. What I have to do now is to keep an eye on Lin Fei before the principal arrives and prevent him from being snatched away by other schools. At the same time, we must protect Lin Fei's safety and prevent him from being assassinated by Abyss or some people with ulterior motives. With this thought in his mind, Qi Yi looked at Wu Liang and Qin Wanyu and said, You two, I'm going to Riverside City to find Lin Fei now, so I'll take my leave first. When Qin Wanyu heard this, he immediately stood up and said, I will go with the inspector. This was something that was agreed upon before. Chi he had no objection and nodded in agreement. Then I heard Wu Liang also said with a smile, Let's go together, let's go together. 
Wu Liang actually went too, which was a bit beyond Shi He's expectation. He couldn't help but take another look at Wu Liang and said strangely, shouldn't Governor Wu stay in the college entrance examination square now and preside over the unveiling ceremony of the college entrance examination points list? Wu Liang smiled when he heard this, thinking that it was just a broken ceremony, how could it be as important as Lin Fei? He also wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to quickly make friends with Lin Fei. If he missed this village, he would not have this shop. The inspector and I can go to Riverside City together. The unveiling of the standings will be out of the way. Vice Governor Liu is here today, just leave it to him to take charge. Compared to the unveiling ceremony, I still hope to see Lin Fei earlier. Wu Liang smiled and explained a few words to Qi He. Suddenly I felt that this reason was not sufficient. After lowering his head and thinking for a while, he then said in a slightly serious tone. Lin Fei is the top scorer in the college entrance examination in Donghai province, and he has reached the top of the 33rd layer. I am afraid that as soon as the results come out, he will be targeted by interested people. I will go with the inspector to better protect him. Chi He listened absently to the reasons given by Wu Liang, and almost laughed when he heard the last sentence. As long as I'm here, it's your turn to protect Lin Fei. Besides, let's set off now and reach Riverside City in a short time. Even if Abyss wanted to attack Lin Fei, he wouldn't have the time. I have already considered this issue. Lin Fei will not be in any danger before we arrive, otherwise I would have sent people over to protect him. Chi He was not worried about Lin Fei's safety at all. But seeing Wu Liang giving so many reasons just to go to Riverside City with him, he couldn't help but give him face. So he nodded happily and agreed that Wu Liang would go to Riverside City with him. Wu Liang smiled with satisfaction, and then the three of them took off from the VIP room together, turned into three streams of light, and flew quickly towards Riverside City. College Entrance Examination Square Three streams of light rose into the sky from the direction of the VIP room, attracting the attention of many people. Who are these three people? They are not restricted by the flight ban and are flying openly in Donghai City. Who knows, maybe it's some big shot. Don't forget, the flight ban can only restrain most people, but there are still a few people who are not restrained. Huh? The man on the left looks like a governor? Impossible. The governor will come out to host the unveiling ceremony of the standings later. This is the tradition of Donghai province. How can he leave at this time? That's right. But the more I look at him, the more I feel like he looks like Governor Wu. They really look alike. Maybe you are dazzled. No, I read it correctly, that is Governor Wu. What? It's really Governor Wu. Why would he leave at this time? The unveiling ceremony of the standings is about to begin. Wu Liang's identity was recognized, and there was an uproar in the college entrance examination square. They didn't understand why Wu Liang left at this time. Isn't the standings unveiling ceremony hosted? Vice Governor Lu Shang was sitting in another room in the VIP area, looking at the governor's leaving figure with the same confusion on his face. Haven't you heard of any emergency happening? Why did the governor leave suddenly at this time? Still looking very anxious, Lu Shang was puzzled. He looked at the two people next to Wu Liang again and recognized that the person on the far right was Qin Wanyu. The question mark in his heart became even bigger. Why did Qin Wanyu leave with the governor? If something happens, shouldn't the governor call me? I am the deputy governor of Donghai province. Also, who is the person in the middle? You actually let the governor accompany you? Could it be a big shot from Longjing? Vice Governor Liu was confused and couldn't figure out what was going on. Just when he was puzzled, the voice of provincial governor Wu Liang suddenly sounded in his ears. Old Liu, I'm in a hurry to leave. The next unveiling ceremony of the standings will be hosted by you. Vice Governor Liu was stunned when he heard this, and then immediately sent a message back. Don't worry, Governor, I will preside over it. Then he shook his head and put aside the questions in his mind. Since the Governor didn't take the initiative to say it, he didn't think much about it. He turned to look at the confused people in the room and explained, The Governor has something to do and needs to take the first step. I will preside over the next unveiling ceremony of the standings. Everyone nodded when they heard this and didn't ask what happened. Then he put a smile on his face and flattered Lu Shang. The vice governor personally presided over the unveiling ceremony of the scoreboard.
This year's candidates are blessed to listen to the teachings of the vice governor. Yes, yes, for so many years, the unveiling ceremony of the standings has been presided over by the governor. This time we finally have the deputy governor. The vice governor has made great achievements in education in Donghai province over the years, and he is well deserved to host the unveiling ceremony of the standings. Lu Shang smiled and said nothing after hearing these flattering remarks. But I still feel very happy, as they said, I have been a deputy for so many years and have worked hard without complaint. Now I can finally try the treatment of a provincial governor. It's a pity that the standings will appear in three minutes, and I only have three minutes to host, which is not enough fun. Lu Zi was excited and regretful at the same time, and was the first to walk out of the VIP room. Seeing this, everyone else quickly followed him and walked with him to the center of the college entrance examination square. At this moment in the college entrance examination square, Chin Hao was clasping his hands behind his back, high-spirited, and his heart was full of pride. The total points are 11,198 points, haha, <laughs> this result has already broken Donghai Province's college entrance examination score record. I am the top scorer in this year's college entrance examination. Hey, please show up quickly so that everyone can see how high my scores are. When the time comes, don't let them be frightened. Chin Hao's eyes scanned the surrounding crowd, his face full of pride. Lu Zi and the other four stood beside him, their faces full of pride. Among the four of them, Lu Zi, who has the worst score, also has 7,831 points. If this score had been compared to last year, he would have been the top scorer in the college entrance examination. This year, it would be appropriate to enter the top 10. Lu Zi, who had the worst score, could make it into the top 10. Needless to say, there is no need to say more about the remaining three. Plus Chin Hao, who ranked first in the college entrance examination. The five members of their group were all in the top 10 in the college entrance examination, accounting for half of the country. What an amazing feat! It is absolutely unprecedented in the history of the college entrance examination in Donghai province. It's exciting just to think about it. They are now ready to accept the envious looks of everyone around them. Not far from them. Chen Jialong became very angry when he saw Chin Hao and others acting like villains. A pair of iron fists collided with his chest, and he gritted his teeth and thought, in 33rd layer days, there are restrictions on the college entrance examination rules, and I can't do anything to you. But now that everyone is in the college entrance examination square, there are no rules to break. Let's see if I don't beat you to the point of paralysis. He clenched his fists, raised his legs and walked towards Chin Hao determined to teach this despicable guy Chin Hao a lesson today. Chen Jialong, please don't be impulsive. Zhao Meng saw that Chen Jialong was going to teach Chin Hao a lesson, so he had quick eyes and quick hands and stopped him. But Chen Jialong was so angry that he couldn't listen to anyone's words now, so he raised his hand to push Zhao Meng away. Zhao Meng pulled him tightly and urged in a hurried voice. Think carefully, what is the occasion now that you can fight with him? The governor will come over later to host the unveiling ceremony of the standings. If you cause trouble now, it won't end well by then. Chen Jialong really stopped when he heard this, but he still gritted his teeth and was entangled in his heart, not wanting to let go of this perfect opportunity. Chin Hao has no guards around him now, so it is the best time to take action. If you miss this time, it will be difficult to find opportunities to teach Chin Hao a lesson in the future. Zhao Meng saw what he was thinking and said, Don't worry, there will still be opportunities in the future. After you enter Longguo Vocational University, you can cause trouble for him as soon as possible. He entered the top pick class at that time, and his strength has not improved, so he will not be our opponent. When the time comes, I will teach him a lesson together with you. After hearing what she said, Chen Jialong finally slowly released his fist. Zhao Meng also breathed a sigh of relief. Although she also wanted to take revenge on Chin Hao, now was really not the time. Just after she persuaded Chen Jialong, Chin Hao and the other five came to the two of them at some unknown time. Chin Hao looked at Chen Jialong, whose anger had just subsided, and said in a frivolous tone, Hey, you are still not convinced. Are you still thinking of taking revenge on me? I'm not talking about you. As a human being, you have to be open minded. When you should bow your head, you have to bow your head. 
His words sounded like comfort, but in fact they were naked provocations. Lu Zi and the others couldn't help but laugh out loud, and they didn't take Chen Jialong seriously. Chen Jialong was provoked by Qin Hao's words, and the veins on his forehead popped out, and he immediately wanted to take action. Only Zhao Meng, who was next to him, remained calm as usual. He held Chen Jialong's arm tightly and shook his head at him, signaling not to be impulsive. Chen Jialong remembered what Zhao Meng had just said and slowly loosened his fist, unwilling to cause trouble at this time. But after seeing the two people's reactions, Qin Hao became even more proud. He raised the corner of his mouth and continued to challenge. Ha ha, Miss Zhao still knows the current affairs. Chen Jialong, you have to learn more from Miss Zhao. Those who understand current affairs are heroes. If you lose, you have to admit it. Don't be unconvinced all day long. When Chen Jialong heard this, his tiger eyes immediately stared at Qin Hao, and he really wanted to rush up and strangle him to death. If Qin Hao defeated him with his true ability, then he would admit it and have nothing to say. But he really couldn't stand it when he used such despicable methods to deal with himself and Zhao Meng. After he succeeded, he came over to make sarcastic remarks and lectured himself in the tone of a superior. If Zhao Meng hadn't stopped him, he would have pounced on him and fought Qin Hao to the death. Qin Hao also knew that Chen Jialong was on the verge of breaking out, so he stopped provoking him and said again. Actually, I came here because I have something else to say. He paused, saw Zhao Meng and Chen Jialong looking over, smiled and continued. It is better to resolve enemies than to end them. I admit that I did do something sorry for you before. However, this matter has passed. I hope it will be settled and everyone will stop seeking revenge. We have known each other for a long time, and our relationship was not bad before. I hope you can put aside your resentment and be friends with me again. More friends, more paths. Of course. If you really can't swallow this breath and want to take revenge on me, I will always be with you. But you have to think carefully. After I enter the top pick class, my strength will definitely improve by leaps and bounds. It is only a matter of time before I surpass you. If you take revenge on me, I will take revenge in the future, you are definitely no match. So, whether you want to be my friend or my enemy, you can make your own choice. After saying this, he turned around and left with Lu Zi and the other four. Zhao Meng looked at Qin Hao's leaving figure, gritting his silver teeth and showing displeasure on his face. This is obviously gangster logic. He had just used vulgar means to deal with himself, and then he persuaded himself to put aside his hatred and befriend him. Is this something a human being can do? Zhao Meng had such a good temper that after hearing this, he couldn't help but want to beat him up. Not to mention Chen Jialong next to him, with a furious look on his face, thinking that when he enters Longguo Vocational University, he must make Qin Hao good looking. After the two of them calmed down, there was another moment of silence. Chen Jialong lowered his voice and asked Zhao Meng in a deep voice. Do we have no chance to take revenge and go back? It is easy to retaliate against Qin Hao, but Qin Hao's words just now were obviously threatening. If you take revenge on him, he will take care of you in the future. If you are no match for him then, then you will lose more than you gain. Zhao Meng also frowned, remained silent for three seconds, and sighed. I'm afraid I can't retaliate against him. She also felt in her heart that it was better not to offend Xin Hao easily than to get angry for a while. Of course, it would be impossible for her to make friends with Xin Hao again. The two of them would at least have no contact with each other from now on. Chen Jialong clenched his fists fiercely, gritted his teeth and said, Is there no other way? Zhao Meng sighed and said helplessly, Unless he is not the top pick in the college entrance examination, he will not be able to enter the top pick class. That way he won't get ahead of us, and we won't have to fear him. It's just, how is this possible? Zhao Meng has no false illusions. Chen Jialong also sighed, not knowing what to do. At this time, in the center of the square. Vice Governor Liu finally ended his boring speech. No one around them expected that Vice Governor Liu's skills were even deeper than Governor Wu's. A three-minute speech sounded longer than three years to them. Fortunately, now that the speech is finally over, they are finally free. Now, I officially unveil the college entrance examination standings. 
Vice Governor Liu waved his hand, and a huge gold list appeared in midair, and everyone's eyes were attracted to it. Five to six thousand candidates from more than thirty high schools in Donghai City stared at the standings without blinking, secretly hoping that their names would appear as late as possible. On the scoreboard, the candidates' scores appear in order from low to high. Eighty thousand, fifty thousand, ten thousand. Time passed by minute by minute. Most people's rankings are out. After these people knew their rankings, they cried and laughed, and their performances varied. Chin Hao and others continued to wait with a leisurely expression. The ranking has reached the top 100. It will be our turn soon, Chin Hao said in a relaxed tone, not worried at all. The four Lu Zs also looked confident, thinking they had guessed their rankings. Ranked into the top 50. Ranked into the top 30. The results should be as expected. Chin Hao looked determined and then looked at the standings and entered the top 20. 